Tallest skyscraper in Nicosia, Cyprus, South Nicosia. Scholas Observatory. This is the uh, bird's eye view of Nicosia, Cyprus, Old Town. Nicosia. We're looking west Nicosia. South Nicosia, that's Ledra Street with the awnings. first inhabited 5,000 years ago. The first people that lived there built small settlements on the hills around the city and also along the Pedieros River Bank.
Around 700 BC, these small settlements became a single kingdom known as Lydra. During the Hellenistic period, when Cyprus belonged to the dynasty of the Ptolemies of Egypt, its name changed and it was renamed the City of the White Gods, or Lefkothere, to honor Lefkon, the son of King Ptolemy. In the early Christian period, its name changed again and the city was now called Lefusia or Nicosia. Nicosia became the capital of the island during the Byzantine period, after the people of Cyprus abandoned the coastal cities and moved inland in order to protect themselves from the Arab raids, which lasted from the 7th to the 10th century. In 1184, Cyprus was under the rule of Isaac Comnenus, who proclaimed himself despot of Cyprus. In 1191, Richard the Lionheart conquered the island in order to free his fiancée, Bulgaria of Navarre, who had been mistreated by Isaac. He then sold it to the Order of the Templars, and the people of Nicosia revolted against them. The Templars were forced to return the island to Richard, who immediately found a new buyer, the French noble Guy de Lusignan. The latter founded the medieval kingdom of Cyprus, and Nicosia remained the capital. The city kept growing and became a cosmopolitan capital with 365 churches, palaces, and other monumental buildings. Some of these are still standing. The impressive medieval metropolitan church of Hagia Sophia in the center of the city. This church was converted to a mosque in 1570. The church of St. Nicholas or Benestan, which was built over an earlier Byzantine church. Santa Maria of the Augustinians, which was also converted to a mosque as well as the church of St. Catherine. The Royal Palace was found near what is known today as the Manhattan's Gate, and the only monument that has survived in the area is a building known as Castellotis. The last queen of the Lusinian dynasty was the Venetian-born Caterina Cornau. After ruling Cyprus for a few years, she was forced to abandon the island and resign her crown to the Doge of Venice. The Venetians deemed it necessary to build new fortifications for Nicosia. They called upon Giulio Savorniano, who designed the new walls of the city, and gave them the shape of a star with 11 bastions. These walls are considered to be a prototype of Renaissance architecture. The new fortifications were built with the financing of many of the noble families of Nicosia and had three gates. Giulia, Augusta Gate, San Domenico, Paphos Gate, and Proveditore, Kyrene Gate. On the 2nd of July 1570, the Ottomans landed on Cyprus and marched to Nicosia. On the 9th of September, it's said that the first Ottoman flag bearer, the Bayraktar, managed to climb the walls of the city and raise his flag on the Constanza Bastion, where afterwards a small mosque was built to honor him. Nicosia remained the seat of the Ottoman commander who lived in the Serai, which was a medieval palace. The city was also the seat of the Greek Orthodox Archbishop, who resided in his palace and officiated in the Cathedral of Aios Ioannis. The official representative of the Greeks of Cyprus, along with the Archbishop, was the Dragoman, the interpreter, who also acted as a tax collector. The mansion of one famous Dragoman, Hagiogagis Cormesios, is still standing. During the early 19th century, Archbishop Kiblianos founded the first school in Nicosia, which still operates today as the Pan-Cyprian Gymnasium. In 1821, in order to prevent a possible uprising of the Greeks of Cyprus, the commander of the island ordered the execution of Archbishop Kiprianos and the rest of the bishops, as well as that of most of the Greek leaders. Some were hanged, others beheaded in the square in front of the Sarai. In 1857, the Fanero Girls' School was founded, and in the same year, the Church of Panagia Fanero was built. The French Vice Consul and Philadine 
Gustave Lafon, mediated in order to obtain the necessary permission to erect the first belfry at a Greek Orthodox church since the period of Latin rule. In 1878, in a secret agreement, the administration of the island was turned over to the British Empire. Nicosia remained the capital of the new British colony. The year 1882 saw the establishment of municipalities in all towns. Today, Nicosia's municipality is housed in a magnificent neoclassical building on a bastion which overlooks Eleftheria or Liberty Square. Nicosia was and still is the center of the business life of the island. The most commercial road, which experiences a lot of development, is Litra Street. This is where Chagolas Town is located. It's the longest and most straight road in the city within the walls. There are many shops, and until 1958, the women's market, known as the Neko used to take place every Friday at the end of this street. Women from all over Cyprus would come here to sell their handmade products. In the 1950s, the Greeks of Cyprus officially demanded their independence and the union with Greece, first through a referendum, and later with a fight for liberation from 1955 to 1959. On the 16th of August, 1960, in the building which houses today the House of Representatives, the Independent Republic of Cyprus was established. The island now had its own parliament, ministries and new schools. In the newly established state, all the communities participated. Greeks, Turks, Armenians, Maronites, Latins. In 1963, with the rebellion of the Turks of Cyprus, Nicosia was divided by the Greek Lion. This was followed by the Turkish invasion in 1974, whereby the island remains divided. From this tower, you can look over our city. Look in the four directions of the horizon and see in front of you the city of Nicosia, its monuments, its history, and its people. To the north, you can see the occupied part of the city, and with your eyes, you can run through the walls of the divided world. and renovated in 1997. Let us guide you through the history of Nicosia, the last divided capital of Europe. The area which is known today as Nicosia was first inhabited 5,000 years ago.
Yun ang iniilaw ng sinasabi they're trying to to eat ano. This is the uh, Tur North Nicosia, Cyprus, Turkish Cyprus, the lighted flag. It's going north. Yeah, you can run the map. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 